In this video, you see what comes in the box in a GE electric vehicle charging station. Watch the other two videos in this series to see how to install and connect a circuit breaker and how to mount and connect the charging station. Please subscribe to CB99 videos. Here we have the GE DuraStation level 2 EV charging system and we're going to unbox it and show you how to install it. How much did that cost? This is $400 from Home Depot. This is this is a J1772 charging system and it can uh, deliver up to 30 amps at 240 volts to your car. Uh, but it's configurable for lower amperages if you don't have enough current available from your circuit breaker panel. Here's the box and if I lift this out you'll notice that there's some screws here. There's just two screws. There's a pin in the middle of that screw. But fortunately, if we pull this out here, you'll notice that they give you a, a special tool that can handle that screw. That's right there. So I'm going to take that tool out. Okay, so now we're going to open up the box. And what we need is just a little a hex driver. We're going to unscrew these screws here. There's two of them. This is a hinge cabinet. Okay, I think now this should come up. Yeah, and there we go. Okay, the incoming electricity from the circuit breaker panel is going to come in in this corner here somewhere. And you have to drill a hole. That's the way the instructions read. And we're going to bring three wires in. The two hot leads that give us the 240 volts are going to come in and attach to these two terminals. And then the third wire is a ground wire, and that's going to connect right here. It's configured for 30 amps, which means that you need to have a 40 amp breaker to service it because the electrical code says that you can only draw up 75 to 80 percent uh, on a continuous basis uh, out of a circuit breaker. You're not allowed to run right at the limit of the circuit breaker continuously. And when you're charging an electric car, you're doing it continuously over a long period of time. So um, you always have to have a larger breaker than what the electric car is going to draw. So this is a 30 amp charging station as it's configured out of the box and we're going to use a 40 amp circuit breaker. But if you don't have the capability to have a 40 amp circuit breaker you can derate this down to either 24, 20, or 16 amps by using a special jumper that you have right here. And this little jumper here goes on J21, J standing for jumper, and that, that's right here on the circuit board. So we're not going to deal with that, but that's a possibility if uh, you're in the rare situation where you need to uh, derate this. To mount this on the wall, they give you these two ears here. And these ears go on the top and the bottom of the back of the box. And you use these four screws here to attach these ears to the box. So the instructions are right here. And they show you how to uh, put this together. As you can see here, the ears are screwed onto the back of the box. And then, here's a template that allows you to um, drill holes in the wall in the right place to uh, mount the box on the wall. This is going to go to the electric car, and uh, there's 18 feet of cable here. And at the end of the cable is this, is this little gun, or uh, filler nozzle, whatever you want to call it. You know, that's what you would call it if you were in the old gas car days. And uh, you just plug this in to your car. And that does the charging. And you can see the connections are right there. And uh, off you go. So level 2 J1772 connector. Hey, thanks for watching. And please subscribe to CB99 videos. And you might like the other two videos in this series.